So there's a phrase in business, fake it until you make it. And that's so true on so many levels. Like, another way to say fake it till you make it is dress for the job you want, not the job you currently have. Um, in business, you always want to present yourself as an important person that has his shit together. Um, you want to wear nice clothes. You, you want to have nice personal hygiene. You want to have a nice hair cut. You, you, uh, get a manicure. Look like a decent human being that um, is responsible, takes care of himself, that has a good head on his shoulders and, and knows what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want to have your, another saying, you want to have your, your feet facing forward, right, so that you go where you want to go. And part of that is the, the avatar that you put on, that you show others, right? So fake it until you make it is basically just a common practice that business people use. When you're, when you're running a small business, you want to give the illusion that it's a bigger, more capable business. You want to give your customers the, the illusion that this is a big corporation that can totally come to your aid and help any problems that you have. You know, they, you don't want them to know that you're a teeny tiny business with only three or four employees or whatever. So you want to advertise yourself as professional, courteous. So businessmen and tycoons and CEOs, you know, those those sorts of people that reach the tops, they um, they they need to put forward this this idea that they are very important people that are very busy and that they have a lot of staff around them they have a lot of assistants and secretaries and stuff like that because basically the the more what's the word in ancillary or ancillary right workers ancillary yeah yeah makes you more important it's it's like a general right when a general moves on a battlefield there's a lot of stuff around him protecting him because he's a big asset and in business you think about a guy kind of or a woman kind of sort of the same way if you're a big huge ceo you got a lot of people around you protecting you advising you and and taking care of that asset that you represent for the company and if you're just a little guy working out of your garage uh you normally don't have anybody or anything helping you so <laughs> It was well known 25 years ago, this is now to the point, it was well known 25 years ago that Donald Trump was faking it until he made it. He was not the, the supposed billionaire Donald Trump that he is now. He was just Donald Trump, the, the young guy that inherited a little bit of money from his rich dad or whatever, right? So he was trying to fake it until he, he made it. And there's audio clips now that has been released to the internet that is so obviously him speaking on the phone and he is faking being a PR person. He is faking being his secretary, basically. And he's answering the phone and he's saying, hello, yes, this is not Donald J. Trump. This is, um, Seymour Butts, you know, or whatever name he comes up with, right? And it's very obvious when you hear the tapes that it's him. Now, one would be able to let this go and to completely overlook it entirely because it's this is what businessmen do they they fake it till they make it and if anything it would it would show the more human side of donald trump in that hey he really wasn't always this this rich pompous guy he, he really was this small time guy that was actually pretending to be a big time guy at one point and so that almost puts a human face on him and almost makes him electable but then he goes on tv today in an interview, and they just ask him a simple question, and they're like, oh, so these tapes uh, surfaced? Is that you on the phone? And he denies it completely, and he's like, that's not me on the phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Donald. Sorry, you can't be our president. Come on. You can't be our president. You're, you're this wheeling, dealing, lying weasel that just, like, you'll, you're two-faced. My parents used to teach me about two-faced people. They'll say one thing to your face, but then they'll turn around and say something else to different people. Donald Trump, you are two-faced, and you don't own up to even simple things that show you to be human. You don't have the temperament to be president. You don't have the mental maturity to be president. You just, you don't have it, Donald. It's not gonna happen. Even if you were to be elected president, 
you'd get your ass kicked out in the first six months for not obeying the rules because the office of the presidency is bigger than Donald J. Trump and his attitude, his ego. And that's my thought of the day about that.